It's the world of eight billion. Eight billion. What am I talking about? It's a big number. It's a huge number. It's an astronomical number when it comes to being at a human perspective on the ground. Eight billion. Man, I remember when I was a kid growing up in the city of Toronto when this dam is going to cost Canadians $360,000 in repairs or this electrical outage is going to cost over $150,000. Uh, the whole half the town is out. It's going to cost maybe $200,000 mark. Now it's in the billions mark. Oh, this little, this little thing happened, $2 billion, while a pile of politicians line their pockets. But why $8 billion? Why am I bringing $8 billion? Well, because on November, 20, November 15th, 2022, the world's population is projected to reach 8 billion people, a milestone in human development. Now, the same people that no one had confidence in government in 2019 when the world was protesting. So you're probably saying to me like, oh, Mike, yeah, well, where's the science and where's your background? Right here, zero. Before you click it off, where's the science and background with the Methane Protection Act in the 1880s? Where's the science and background with the uh, with the uh, ozone layers melting? Where's the science and background? Oh, we got images, satellites, all BS. Wh wh where's the global warming? Okay. Where's uh, the whole uh, Florida will be underwater? The science is proven. The science is proven that Florida will be in the water by 2007. If anything, the shorelines receded a bit. Where's the science? Building 7. Boom. No more further questions, Your Honor. So that's the thing right there. Building 7. Where's the science behind that? Where's the science behind anything? So now I want to bring this to you guys today and ask you, do you really believe, really believe that there's 8 billion people in the world? Do you really believe it? Do you really believe Building 7 or anything else they've told you about anything they've told you? What about the thing for the last two years that I'm not allowed to mention on here because I'll get my channel suspended for the 16th time if I do? Huh? What about that? What about trust the science? What about all the BS they've been shoving down our throats? Is that wh wh where's the wh where's the wh where wh where's why isn't there no nobody being penalized for continuously lying to us and feeding off the public tit off the private sector? I just go went, I just went to go pay last year's GST that I had to go pay. I just went to go pay that. That's going to go fund something else that they're they're going to lie to us about. Or that's going to fund the mainstream media in Canada. So you see where I'm going with this. 8 billion people. So I got somebody, a really, really dedicated um, subscriber to the channel. He flew from um, Hong Kong to, I think it was one of the major cities in China in the north. And then he flew back to the south, and then he flew back to the west through a company, uh, just this company. I'm not going to get into specifics because I don't want no one to get in trouble. Uh, flew into Shanghai and then a couple of other major cities. So what he did, uh, he actually did this for me. He sat on the window seat, and he filmed. And he filmed the takeoff. He filmed over the country. He filmed the landings. He filmed everything. Once you're out of a major city in China, it's just like when you're out of a major city in Canada, America, anywhere else. It's barren. Empty. Nothing. So I'm starting to believe, and I've been talking about this on Mike of the Nights for the last couple of years. I don't believe the world's population is as big as it is. Because if I believe that, then I'm going to believe that... Uh, the last two years of the you know what, and, the, and then and then before that, that the the world was protesting in 2019. They were they were they, the mainstream media was telling us that that protest, just so you know, was climate change protest, but it wasn't. It was no confidence in governments. And our Western media that I just pay taxes to right now to go fund them went ahead and said it was climate change protests all over the world. So that's the problem that we're we're fall. Well, this is the problem that we're falling short on. Who here believes that there's eight billion? I had somebody comment in a comment uh, 
thing that I posted the other day saying, look, I'm a truck driver and I go through huge, vast, open land and roll just America, just open, wide open, wide open for the picking. Miles and miles and miles. So I don't know. When I live in Mexico, I lived there for two years. I've been to almost every state by car driving around. And I don't think there's that many people that they say that there is. Mexico City's got a lot of a lot of people. But if you did a hard census and went around and started counting everybody you see, you start getting a different perspective on things. Right? Let's look at the physicality. Average human, 5'9", five, 5'10", five, 2 feet wide, 3 feet wide. And if you were to put that together times 7 billion, how much physical... Uh, occupation would that be on the planet, right? See, I'm not a scientist. I don't trust the science. I never I never trusted governments. I don't believe what they say. Uh, they even say there's going to be 38 million people in Canada. People in Canada haven't had kids in the last 20 years because the housing's too expensive. Oh, we have 38 million people in Canada. The average house here is a million dollars. So you're telling me 38 million people in Canada have over a million dollars? So that's the problem we're facing here. This 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 bull, this lie. How many people actually live on this planet? Eight billion? Are are you sure? Are you sure? Because I'm willing to bet with one of these world leaders, okay. For every for everybody that's over five billion or four billion, I'll give you a dollar. For everyone that's that's um that's under so anyone that's over five billion, they give me a dollar up to eight billion. They pay me a dollar for everyone that they've miscounted or everyone. Yeah, I believe and I said this a year ago that the death rate right now is severely higher than the birth rate right now with tons of miscarriages. We can't talk about it and tons of 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 of, you know, tons of uh, uh, stillbirths and all this stuff that's happening. So, I, I don't know what to say anymore. They're trying to make us feel guilty about being on this planet. But the ones that are trying to make us feel guilty about being on this planet haven't done anything for this planet. They've destroyed our families. They've destroyed our media, our news. They've destroyed our money system. They've destroyed our banking and deregulated it. They've destroyed everything. Our food has been destroyed and contaminated. Our airspace from this stupid flying over with this garbage. Paid by the p private sector. The mom and pops, they don't want a business, are the ones paying for this shit. Anyways, I look forward to reading your guys' comments below. How many people are on this earth? Because they're doing a heart census down in Brazil. Door to door. Who would you vote for? 98% of the people voted for the guy that didn't win the election. Everything's contaminated. So you're going to believe there's 8 billion people here? For their agendas? Let me know what you guys think. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.